You know, some of our experiences is happening increasingly on there, but again, I don't think it's a replacement. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's it's a schemorphic kind of copy and a response to a very particular situation that we're dealing with in the world right now. And you know, I think yes, we'll kind of like spend more time in that space, but uh, it's 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 fundamentally a different experience, and uh, it's one's not going to replace the other. We're going to continue to do both. Mm-hmm. So with other communities, because uh, Mochi has been like reaching out with other communities and because like Mochi has been part of an accelerator cohort with Seed Club, um, what kind of communities kind of jump out at you? Uh, like what are the qualities or vibes that you look for in other DAOs uh, to to work with or to, to onboard into either to, to share Mochi or to, uh, you know, just kind of what, what how do you how do you filter? what are interesting projects and what aren't i filter for common values so i think there's like a big mistake that people make when they're talking about community in this space um, or talking about like how you form community or how you gather and attract people there's this common trope that people say like oh we're looking for like-minded individuals i don't look for like-minded people Um, i look for people with common values to ours Um, I, i made a lot of mistakes growing up looking for like-minded people because that just creates uh, an echo chamber of your own thoughts. What, what does I that mean between the distinction between yeah. uh, like-minded val- uh, like-minded versus sharing values? Common values. Common yes. values. Yeah. So, so like-mindedness is usually actually, uh, you know, if, if you look, if you stare deeply enough into like how some of uh, these kind of like cultural plays, like, you know, market themselves, like-mindedness is a common thing that comes up. And really what they mean is like of a common class. Um, uh, uh, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't even use that word common. It should be of a particular class. It's kind of a dog whistle for like, oh, you have to kind of like, you know, be cut from our cloth uh, mm-hmm. in, in, in what is usually a kind of like a class way. Um, it's like we only attract high caliber creative individuals or high caliber financial individuals, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So like-mindedness actually ends up kind of falling flat on its face. When you really analyze it, it's it's really quite simple. I, I don't want people who think like me around me. It's like, that, that's just that's just a recipe for like, you know, sniffing your own farts. Like it's just, you know, you don't get new ideas by hanging out with people who are just like you. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I do care about is that we have common values, that we value commonality, that we value the commons, that we value... Um, there, there, there are simple things that like we we cherish about life and celebrating it um, that that connects us far you know beyond just the way that we think about things which changes every day mm-hmm. so when when I think about attracting people to mochi and then other communities that might use mochi uh, what I look for is like you know we have some kind of bond that extends beyond just how we're currently thinking about things and you challenge me in fact in my thoughts um, but we can still kind of hang out and our values kind of still align. Mm-hmm. Um, and wh- where I would say that kind of like leads us usually is like, you know, we tend to kind of like w- a lot of the organizations that um, we're working with tend to be organizations that care about, um, you know, making things more fair and equitable uh, and using creative kind of, uh, you know, approaches to, to doing those things. Um, uh, in, in whatever it is that their community is doing. So, you know, we've attracted a lot of communities that are making music, um, for example, or playing with artificial intelligence or working towards, uh, you know, women having more equity in this space. Things like that, you know, it's like we, we value a lot of the same things. And, um, you know, I think when, when you think about how Mochi operates, and I won't spend too much time talking about how the game actually plays, but, you know, it's, it's a methodology that if you are lucky, like me and some people in this space who are like able to work for a company where they teach you new paradigms of organizing and coordinating work, things like agile, mm-hmm. you know, y- you learn something that's like a very powerful tool for like, you know, succeeding in life. But if you're not that kind of person, you never end up learning something like this, which like for me is like one of the most valuable things I've ever learned. Um, and this kind of methodology should not be relegated just to people who work in tech. I, I would love to see that methodology used, played with, uh, to make things 
outside of tech uh, mm -hmm. if you are a creative if you are an artist if you're a musician everybody struggles with making things every day and agile and like what we've developed with mochi can be used to help you succeed in whatever your creative endeavors are so i think you know it's it's this 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 project also kind of spawned after i spent a lot of time thinking about how to make blockchain work for music and I, i've always been very passionate about uh subcultural space in the mu in music and the arts and i always was thinking about how do we use this technology to you know make the world brighter sound better um you know more more imaginative and how do we engage the arts and music in this technology in a meaningful way and this is the best thing i've been able to come up with hmm.